So start by getting yourself a fake leather jacket. This is one that I found for about 10 bucks in my local Salvation Army. And then you want to get yourself some fake leather. Um, this stuff is really stretchy and you just kind of want to cut it in basically a rectangle with a curved top and then you want a little tab on the side and you'll cut two of those. Just make sure that the tabs go different directions so one face is left and one face is right. And then you're just going to roll the edges up about a quarter of an inch. You're going to want to either sew them or hot glue them all the way around each piece of your fake leather material. So here it is once I've sewn it. You can see the stitch lines in it. Unfortunately this stuff remains stretchy. So then you're just going to take one piece and put it on each arm. You want to kind of try to line up the curved part with the shoulder seam. Do the same thing on the other side. And so what you want to do is, um, on mine, I have a, the side seam of the arm, so I'm just going to use the side of that to line up. And you want to sew around the flat side on the back and the curved side, but you want to leave the front side and the bottom open, like I did on this side, I've already got it sewn. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just sew along the back flat side and the top curved side, but leave the inside and the bottom open. And I found that it was actually easier to hand sew this, because it's kind of hard to get the sewing machine um, inside the jacket, so uh, just use some double thick thread and hand sew it. So once you've got those sewn on, you just want to take some regular brown paint and paint the entire jacket brown. And you want this to be pretty messy, you want it to be splotchy, you don't want it full coverage, so you want to be able to see some of the natural jacket color underneath it. So once that's dry, just take some red and you paint it the exact same way, just a nice messy, um, not full coverage painting. You want it to be fairly fairly light so that you can see some of the brown color through the bottom there. This thing, once the red is dry, you'll take some even darker brown and you just want to do this. This is really, really splotchy. You just want very, very little of this because a little goes a long way. So just spray it here and there just to add a little more distress to your jacket. So here's the jacket once I've got it fully distressed and it's all dried. It's got the different textures of brown and reds. So then I took some, they're kind of like bronze studs, but if you don't have those, you can also just use some gold paper fasteners. And, and you just want to use a stud to fasten down the bottom of that flap, the flap that you left the, the bottom of the side open. So you just take the stud and you push the prongs through, and then of course you'll have to reach inside the jacket and then push the prongs through the, the second layer there so that they're on the underside of the sleeve and just bend them in place. And then that will just hold the the sleeve down at the bottom. And you'll do the same thing on the other side. And so then you just want to take a piece of black strap material and you'll cut a slit in that little flap that hangs off of that fake leather piece that you made and you'll slide your black strap through there and then you just want to take your hot glue gun and put a little bit of hot glue on the underside of that flap and then you'll push your black strap right into that and that will just hold it in place there. And so then you'll just fold it back down and then you want to take kind of a bronzy buckle again we're going with the, the distressed look you'll slide that onto your strap and what I did was I just folded the strap around the bottom of the buckle and it kind of covers up the notch in the buckle and then just put a little bit of hot glue on it and that'll just help kind of smoosh it in place and so then that'll just kind of lay out there um, it won't actually attach to anything, but in order to keep it from moving, just take a little bit of black thread and you just want to sew the, the very bottom edge of the buckle in place just so it stays where it's supposed to be. And then of course you do the same thing on the other side. And then I just took a bunch of those studs and I put them in the collar, and I put one in the middle, and I put a couple over by the, the zipper pockets. Basically you just want to disperse them around the jacket. Um, these aren't really the exact places they were in the movie. I'm just kind of taking artistic liberty here, just to kind of give it that more distressed look. And so then, this is how I ended up with my finished jacket. And there's the buckle again. So for the shirt, I just found a slate blue shirt, and I didn't bother with the panels because you don't really notice them that much. And then for the pants, I got a pair of black pants that had um, a bunch of pockets in them. And then I just cut out of some foam, I cut those little teardrop shaped um, rocket controls and I painted them with some metallic silver paint. And then I just hot glued those onto the sides of the pants.